it's for me, if I can just make art, I'm happy. I don't make art for galleries. Like, I just make art for the for myself. Like, I'm I'm just answering questions for myself that I need to think. I need to explore something that's weighing heavy on me. I I find it as a healing process. My name is Fatih Sulawana Tyrell. I am an interdisciplinary artist, predominantly working in performance and lens-based mediums. So for me, interdisciplinary means um, making a work that incorporates multiple mediums. And so for me, the most um, common one that I would use is costuming, performance, photography, or film. 2014 to 2016, was my um, time at MIT. That, um, all my work is from my tertiary studies, so in the first year I made a masculine tender, and I think this was the first time I was really exploring uh, gender and sexuality. Um, I just came out in 2011, so I had some couple of years after that to kind of see what that was like in the world, and then 2014 was my first year, so it was my first time I got to actually uh, dive into it and try and find ways to um, answer the questions I had about um, my identity and so in our stories so um, yeah I thought what is male what is female and what is the things in between and for me that was the kind of space I was in it was like I think I exist in the spaces in between. Fafa I guess I took t to the second work which is Matua which is I'd say my favorite work. Uh, Matua means parents or guardian in Samoan and in the images myself and my parents um, side by side in a sasa formation. The reason I chose sasa was because um, sasa is a dance that talks about the mundane and I wanted this idea that me and my parents and their um, support of my gender and my sexuality being something that is mundane to a Pacific family. That work was was an experimental work that led to Fa'afa. And so I had the same conversations about the spaces in between, whether looking at my gender, my sexuality, time, and the way culture, material, um, aesthetics kind of change with time, as well as um, space. Um, in the work, we're inside the garage, and you can see this really you know, iconic garage door that most Pacific families have. And I chose the garage because I feel like in Pacific families, it is a fluid space. It changes to the needs of the family and I wanted that fluidity, a space that I could shoot this work in to represent the fluidity as well. Whether it's used for a birthday, someone's bedroom, someone's gym, that is the kind of same concept of a person's gender, sexuality, be able to um, mould and mend to its, the person's needs. And then by the third year, I expanded again and tried to look at what that same conversation looks like to a wider queer Pacific community and specifically my friends, my group of friends here in Auckland. Um, and so we made this work called Fango, a film work, nine minute film work that um, came, originally came from a question about where do I stand as a queer person in my community. And at, this, at the very beginning, my thoughts were that if there is a hierarchy of Samoan culture as a a queer person as a gender diverse person we kind of were at the bottom or had no placing in the society and so what this new work was kind of attempting to do was um, just figure out how do we find place and so um, came together with a group of friends and for us it was about reconnecting with indigenous knowledge and reconnecting with, um, with our culture. A lot of queer folk live in isolation and though they may be um, accepted or you know have good relationships with family there's always something missing as a queer person when no one can speak to your experience or share the experience with you and so yeah this thing of just coming together it seems so simple but means so much for people who have been isolated for most of their life. Mm -hmm.